when you take a look at what we're doing with the money that is being appropriated, you see we're growing the bureaucracy and shrinking the services. I just went through a process to apply for services for my son. He'll be 18 this week. I decided to wait until the last minute because we didn't need the services. We were providing the services ourselves and through insurance. But I'd heard so many complaints from constituents that I subjected myself and my family to this rigorous, absurd process, which is designed to stop people from getting services. It took us the better part of a year just to get what's called a Medicaid waiver, which is the first step towards getting the services. And when we finally got the Medicaid waiver, the departments that were dealing with this couldn't talk to each other. They were asking the same information on different forms over and over again. You go to OPWDD, then you go to social services, then you go back to OPWDD, then we get a letter from social services saying, we can't give you the Medicaid waiver because you haven't filled out such and such a form, when in fact they already issued the Medicaid waiver and we had the card to prove it. So I now personally understand all of the stories that I've heard from my constituents who have been going through this for years. I subjected myself to our two-hour class that told me absolutely nothing and told nobody in the classroom anything other than there were no service coordinators available in Westchester County at this time, and you needed a service coordinator before you could move forward and use any of the services. When I contacted service coordinators, they said, well, you need to have a Medicaid plan, and there's five available. I said, okay, tell me what they are. They couldn't tell me what the plans were about or what type of services they provided. So you're dealing with a, a stumbling block, a major wall for the parent who's already gone through a very traumatic experience in trying to raise a child who faces very significant challenges, whether it's autism or any other type of developmental disability. The state of New York is standing in the way of people getting the services that by law they're entitled to get. Thank you.